It's the Baltimore Ravens versus the Las Vegas Raiders. This is going to be a fantastic Monday night football game. And what is a home opener? Not only a home opener this season, but effectively the home opener period for the Las Vegas Raiders. Remember, no fans in the stands last year. I was in Vegas a couple of weeks ago. This city is juiced up, ready to go. This is the game plan. This is the series where we introduce stats, gambler stats, analytics. Uh, we predict the game plans, what the keys to the game are. But we're going to throw all that out the window this week and just get to the fantasy football projections. By the way, the Ravens come in as four-point favorites. Now, the, the Ravens. I think they're going to score well offensively. I still have questions, and fair questions, I might add, on the Raiders' defense. I know this defense is getting better. I know a defense is never healthier than they are in Week 1 of the NFL season, uh, and I know that there's going to be a lot of emotion in this crowd. So it's not going to be so easy, Ravens fans. By the way, everybody, please like, comment, subscribe. Put your score predictions in the show notes below, or in the comments below, I should say. Lamar Jackson, I have at a 23.4. His legs are always going to make him a viable threat. I think he's going to give the Raiders' defense some problems. Tyson Williams, look with the injuries to Dobbins and Edwards, those were brutal, but I'm a believer in this Ravens run game. I'm a believer in Tyson Williams. I think he'll get into the end zone this week. Latavius Murray at a 12.8 projection. You know, honestly, I think this is an over-projection for Murray this week. I love him. I think he's underrated as a running back. Hey, Raiders fans, I think you would agree with me. Latavius Murray, and I'm a little bit of a homer because I went to UCF as well. Uh, Latavius Murray's alma mater. But I think Latavius Murray will be a very, very good piece for this Ravens offense, just not this week. Uh, but hey, running back, all you got to do is run forward through a hole, um, and the Ravens uh, are very good in the run game as usual. So maybe he'll prove me wrong. But uh, I'm staying away from Murray in daily fantasy this week. Marquise Brown, I have getting into the end zone. Not a lot of catches and yardage, though. I think it's going to be more of a run game, uh, ball control type game for the Ravens. I think this is going to be typical Ravens football, but the Raiders do pretty well in those kinds of uh, ugly kind of knockout, heavyweight, man-on-man, uh, helmet-on-helmet type games, so we'll see how that goes. Sammy Watkins, Devin DuVernay, I think they're going to have eh, not so great days, but we'll see with Watkins. I'm, I'm interested to see how he and Lamar Jackson coalesce in the passing game, and of course, they'll get better as the season moves on. Mark Andrews, I love him this week to start. I would start him uh, in all-day fantasy football formats, although I do think that he will be the second highest scoring tight end in this game thanks to his competition in Darren Waller. Let's move it to the Las Vegas Raiders. Derek Carr, I think will have a nice game, even against the tough Baltimore Ravens defense. Josh Jacobs and Kenyon Drake, I love the one-two punch here. I'm really excited to see how it goes because Kenyon Drake is an improvement over uh, Devontae Booker, who has uh, moved on in free agency. Um, Josh Jacobs, I don't think he's going to get you a lot of yards per carry. I mean, oftentimes he's not going to wow you with his yards per carry mark but he is a very strong, powerful runner. I do think he gets into the end zone this week, and I think he's definitely start-worthy, daily fantasy-worthy. Kenyon Drake, I'm a little bit more concerned about him this week. I don't love the matchup, but again, we'll see how it goes. Kenyon Drake has a lot of talent, and I know Gruden, the one thing I love about Gruden is that he always sticks to the run, and teams that stick to the run, I think they just wear teams down, but again, they're playing kind of their counterpart and the Baltimore Ravens. So it's going to be similar game plans for the both of these. Whatever defense does a better job stopping the run, that's the team that's going to win. And given that Lamar Jackson is better with his legs than Derek Carr is, I'm going to take the Ravens to, on a slight advantage. But remember, this is going to be a very pumped up Vegas Raiders crowd. Uh, I'll get to the spread in just a bit. Hunter Renfro, Brian Edwards, I'm going to stay away from them this week. I do think both of these players beat their computer projection here. And Darren Waller, I don't think he gets in the end zone. I think this 15.3, it's a nice score. I think it's catches and yardage. I don't think he gets into the end zone this week. We'll see. I also like how the Raiders kind of sprinkle in the different tight ends, too, on the goal line. They always give you different looks. Gruden's very, very good about that, keeping the offenses on their toes. So let's get to the line. The Baltimore Ravens, minus four versus the Las Vegas Raiders. I am personally not going to bet this game. Because, the you know, everybody who's looking at this game, outside of, of course, Raider Nation, everybody's looking at this game thinking, oh, this is going to be a Baltimore waltz. They're going to easily cover. Man, the Raiders, that crowd atmosphere, I think it's a dangerous bet. I'm personally going to stay away. What do my computers like? They like the Ravens to easily cover this spread in a score of 35 to 24. So let me ask you this, Ravens fans, do you think the Raiders offense is good enough to score 24? I bet you there are some Ravens fans that are going to take issue with that projection. I think the Raiders will be able to put up some points on this Ravens defense. Now, Raiders, do you think you're going to give up 35 points? Do you think that you're going to cover the spread? Do you think you're going to win? If so, tell me why in the comments below. I will be back with some more previews, some more reactions, all that stuff later in the week. I appreciate Appreciate everybody watching. We'll catch you next time.